welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for my no buy project pan. There are a ton of us doing this now. Everyone that I know that is doing this is going to be listed down below in my description box. This really started with Jessica Payne unofficially. She was doing a 100 pan kind of project pan no buy type of thing and then Dora was inspired by that and then Kana and I were inspired by Dora and I know that Ruthie's doing it. I know Kezia's is doing it. There's like a ton of people. I'm trying to look and see quickly if I can see who else is doing it. But I know those beautiful ladies are doing it. I'm sure there's probably some more. And like I said, they're going to be listed down below. If you know of someone that is doing this that is not in my description box, let me know so I can go check them out and I can get them put in the description box so other people can find them as well. So let's get into this. Everyone that I know that is doing this is doing it a little bit different, which is kind of cool because we have to work with our own collections, our own goals and everything like that. I am doing this one way and I may actually change it in the next few months. I am doing this as a standalone project, but I'm finding that I'm running into some problems. The way I have it set right now, I have every category that is a problem that I have a set goal for. I have in here with a product from that category, which is fine. I don't mind working on a lot of products clearly, but I'm finding as I get close to goal, if I have those type of products, say um, body lotions, just off the top of my head, I may only need to use up two body lotions overall to get to my goal. That's not the case, but just as an example, I may have one in this project, but I could have four or five in another project. And then I'm working on like four to six body lotions and I really don't need to when I'm only trying to get down one or two. So I'm finding some conflict there. So while I'm gonna keep it like it is for right now, I do feel like moving further into the year, if I have some in other projects for a given category, I might just, you know, not roll anything new in and see if that works for me. I'm still going to do the no buy. I'm still going to do the no buy project pan. I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to work best for me. And I feel like I'm overwhelming myself with the number of products just because, you know, sometimes I am, I'm working on so many multiples of the same category. I hope this makes sense. I know it's very long-winded. That is so typical of me and it's daytime. So I have a lot more energy. All right. So let's get into this. Hopefully, hopefully I can make heads or tails of this, but we're going to do it. I'm not going to go over everything because I really don't have any progress on some things and it doesn't make any sense to talk about those. So we are going to start with our body oils. I use these interchangeably for body and hair. I have primarily used this as a hair oil and as a makeup remover. It is the Rada Argan oil. It is 100% pure and natural. And I really like this oil a lot. I did not put it in my hair today, which is why it's super poofy today. But um, I like it. I like it a whole lot and I'm making good progress. So I went from here to here and I feel like my usage on this is going to start picking up because now that it is warmer outside and I'm working out in the garden I'm sweating more I will have to wash my hair more frequently because this it's heavy it's hot and my head will sweat and if I don't wash my hair after I am all nasty sweaty then I start to itch and we, we don't need that so I feel like if I'm gonna have to wash my hair more I'm gonna have to start putting more oils back into it without it getting on my scalp so I think this is gonna Get used up a lot faster than I had been using it. So for body oils, I have a goal of five. I currently have 16 in my collection. So it will be nice to actually get that one used up in a reasonable amount of time, most likely two, maybe three months, and I can probably have that one done. And then I will probably roll a new one in. I do not have any other body or hair oils anywhere in any other project. So I will be rolling that one into here. My next category is going to be shower gel. I have the Philosophy Amazing Gray shower gel. I don't think I have updated this since I brought it in, but it was brand new, brand spanking new, and I am down to here. I think another month or two, and this one is going to be done. I use it frequently because I am working on 
a lotion and a perfume that matches this so I want to use them together so yeah I think I think that one's gonna be done probably in the next month or two for shower gels I have a goal of five which I'm not sure if that's realistic for me but it is a jumping off goal. I may adjust that goal later, but I currently have 24 in my collection, which is way too much. So even if I was to up that to 10 as my goal, I'm still way over what I should have. All right, moving on to the hair categories. The first one is gonna be for shampoo. I have a goal of 10. I currently have 15, but this one is getting close. It is not done yet, but it is very, very close. It is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo. It says it nourishes dry hair. I don't know that I believe that, but um, it does clean my hair, which is a good thing. And I am at this line right here. I wasn't sure I was ever able to see through this, but now that so much product is gone, I have a really high powered flashlight that I was able to shine into this and see exactly where I was. I'm surprised I'm that low. If I was going to guess, I would have been like up in this range. I'm very happy it's down here because this is definitely going to be done by the next update. I am bringing in a new category. I feel like this was in here last year and I was able to roll it out and then I was gifted some more and I got some in PR so I'm bringing it back but it's going to be a really easy bringing it back. So this is for conditioner like basic conditioner not hair mask but just your basic everyday run-of-the-mill kind of conditioner. I have a goal of 10. I have 11 and I have this tiny little guy. I probably could use it like on the down low, but I'm gonna bring it in officially. It is um, the Nova Essentials Fresh fresh Scent Conditioner. It's just a little cheapy thing. I got it at a hotel when I stayed. It was actually a timeshare, but you know, same basic concept. And uh, I don't think it's gonna take much to get through this. And that will get me at goal, which I'm very excited for. Okay, let's move on to skincare. I have my daytime moisturizers, and this is the Polish Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid with broad spectrum SPF 30 plus antioxidants for blemish prone skin. I do get my breakouts periodically. I'm an oily girl. I really, really like this. I wasn't sure if I was going to. I fight with moisturizers all the time because of my skin. It does not like to absorb stuff because there's already enough oils in there. But I know if I do not put stuff on my face to keep it hydrated, it's gonna produce even more oils. So I do try to find something that will work with this crazy skin. This is lovely. It is absolutely lovely. And um, I use it every single day. I am religious about my skincare and I'm making amazing progress on this. It was brand new when I brought it in. I've not had it in my collection very long, and I think I've gotten all but the tiniest little air bubble out, and I am down to here, so you can see just how much product is left. This is still gonna take several months because it doesn't require a whole lot, but I'm gonna enjoy every little bit of this. Currently, I have 11 daytime moisturizers in my collection with a goal of five. Now this category is a little bit different because I have everything that doesn't specifically say that it is for nighttime in my day moisturizers. And I have found periodically, I will pull something out and try to use it. And there's just no way that I can use it during the day. I can't use it under makeup or it's just too much for daytime, especially with the heat. And then I will end up having to roll it into my nighttime category. Thankfully, with the Polish Choice, that is not the case. But So I have 11 technically, but they may not all stay there. But I'm going to keep working on this in my no-buy because I really don't need to purchase any. So I just I want to keep it where it is. But suffice it to say, these numbers could go down a little bit quicker, even without using something if I have found that a certain product doesn't work for the daytime for me. And I am happy to be rolling out a product and a category. This is for my face scrubs and I have a goal of five. And I finished this Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This was just like a little four gram guy. It was tiny, but it still lasted me like a month. Once I actually started using it, it lasted about a month. So there was a ton of product in here. I really like this. I believe I still have a full size, like a really big one, and it's just lovely. So I am happy to be rolling this out. With my goal of five, I currently own six, but I have one in another project. So for this particular project, I am not going to be rolling in any new face scrubs, 
because the other one is going to take a hot minute. It is from Strivectin and it's just like the scrubby crystals. I think it's like the Pro Glowfoliant or something like that. Something similar to that if that's not its exact name, but I think that's close. And you use whatever face wash you have and you put like a little tiny, like a, a micro tiny scoop of the crystals in with your face wash and you can create your own scrub, which I love, but it is going to take forever and a day to get that one finished. So I don't want to roll any other face scrubs in because the one I'm currently working on, I would like to have it done this year. And if I do, I will be within my goal. Let's move on to the makeup categories, starting with primers. This is one that I probably should have checked the numbers before I sat down, but I didn't. My goal for primers is five, and I didn't realize with the primer that I just finished in another project, I am at my goal. So technically, I could be rolling this one out. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. I really like this. Um, I might just roll it out of this project because I don't really need it to be in my no buy categories, but I think I'm just going to continue working on this one because it is the only one that I currently have opened of the five and I would like it done in this calendar year. So you may end up seeing this in another project, but for this particular no buy project, this is no longer on the no buy categories. Then on to lip gloss, which I have way, way too many of those. I am currently working on the Avon Glazeware in Dazzling Diamond. The stopper is out of this. I don't know that you'll be able to see in there at all, but the stopper is out. And you can see there is not much left. I have just a little bit around the edges and there it's focused now little bit around the edges and I got the tiniest little bit in the bottom. I am filming this before it needs to go up obviously and um, I think this might actually be done before the end of the month. If it's not it's going to be like the first or second day of next month so this one is so stinking close which I'm very happy for. So I am not going to roll anything in yet because it still does exist and there still is some product in there and I don't want to take anything away by rolling something else in and then not finishing this one. So next month, I will definitely need to roll in a new lip gloss, but I am currently at 86, which is kind of crazy because I was way up in the mid 100s at one point. And then not this year, but you know, over the last few years. And so being down to 86 is really good, but realistically, I would like to get down to five. Again, that may change over time. I might say, well, 10 is good, depending on how many I go through in a year but I kind of did the blanket five because at least gives me something to shoot for while I'm really trying to mentally figure out where I want to be with that. And the last category is actually going to be a rollout for product only, not for the category. That is my top coats for my nail polish. I have finished the Beauty Secrets, which I believe is a Sally Beauty Supply brand. It is their nail hardener and thickener top coat. I've had this like 600 years or so. It is done and I am so happy to have that done because it's such an awkward bottle. And while my favorite top coat, the INM Out The Door top coat is in the same exact size and shape bottle, I love that one so much that I don't even mind that one. But this one is old, it needed to go, happy to have it done. So I will be bringing in a new top coat, a brand new one. This one is from Jessica Nails. It is the top priority top coat looks like that. My goal for top coats is five. I currently have nine now that I finished one. So I will be working on this one. Now this is one of those categories where technically my goal is five and it is technically on a no buy. But if I run out of my INM out the door top coat, which is a super quick dry that I absolutely love. If I run out of that, I reserve the right to purchase that one again, as long as I'm still working on my other top coats, because that is my holy grail. And the other ones just are not quick dry. I like them as top coats, but I need a quick dry as busy as my life is. So if I run out of that one, I will be purchasing that one again. But until then, I'm just gonna be working on this and then using my INM out the door when I absolutely need a quick dry top coat. So I really need to finish four more top coats before I can freely purchase my INMs. Though I will say the top coats that I own, a bunch of them are UV cured, so they're gel top coats. And I might rethink that at some point because I don't use the UVs with my basic polishes. So I'll think about that one and I will get back to you on like what my thoughts are on that. But for now, 
I'm gonna leave it as stands. And I guess that is everything. Definitely go check out everyone else that has joined in. Like I said, there's gonna be people down below, they've joined in like on their own, doing their own thing. Um, we do kind of mention each other. And as the list grows, we're like, just check down below. If you know someone that's doing this, let me know, because I would love to go cheer them on, check them out. If you want to join in, by all means, it's like not an official project, so anyone can join in if they want to. Just let me know so I can shout you out. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.